again everyone, it's another quick little video. I'm just outside the small village of Shottisham on the Suffolk coast and I'm joined by Alfie from In The Van Exploring and his granddad again. We've had a brilliant weekend so far here exploring stuff. And this is probably one of our final things today is it's a starfish decoy bunker from World War II and basically the Allies would have basically sort of used it as like a, a control point for sort of like a, a dummy airfield or a, a sort of dummy sort of settlement so everything behind me these farm fields would have been like scaffolding and stuff that they would have set light to at night to act as like a decoy to German bomber planes and yeah they would have you know sort of it would have been attracted to this area so in other words to sort of throw them off the scent of like RF Baldy which is just up the road we've been around that area and sort of some of the, the bigger towns and stuff basically the starfish bunker was um, there's like loads of them all over the country and there would have been like a generator room as well and another small building we're going to show you that now it's just around the side here they're already in there okay so let's get exploring starfish sites were large scale nighttime decoys created during the blitz to simulate burning British cities. The aim was to divert German night bombers from their intended targets so they would drop their ordnance over the countryside. The sites were an extension of Colonel John Turner's decoy programme for airfields and factories codenamed Q sites. Following the bombing and near destruction of Coventry in November 1940, Turner was tasked with creating decoys for seven major cities. Turner referred to the new sites as Special Fire or SF. However, one early site near Bristol was given the name Starfish, which subsequently became used for all of the decoys. The sites were constructed around four miles from their protection target and at least one mile from any other settlement. They consisted of elaborate light arrays and fires controlled from a nearby bunker and laid out to simulate a firebombed town. By the end of the war there were 237 decoys protecting 81 towns and cities around the country. Starfish sites did attract the attention of enemy bombers. One estimate is that around 968 tonnes of ordnance was dropped on the decoys. The decoy bunkers used fires of creosote and water to simulate incendiary bombs exploding. In addition, glow boxes were used to simulate streets and railways. The light bulbs were powered by electrical generators turned by petrol engines contained in two bunkers. And you've got two rooms. Yeah, there's original wooden frames with the green paint still on. There's remains of fittings here. Oh, is there? It yeah, looks like, um, like a beige paint. You just about wow. see that. And then um, you've got the concrete here, where it used to be. It's all been removed now. You've got original one bottles inside. Yeah, that's where they would have had what would have been on there. I don't know. Uh, sort of something fitted to the wall anyway, because it's not been painted. So it looks like. Got an air vent there. blocks. Down Where's there. the air vent? Oh, the air vent. Air vent's down there. And then you've got the escape hatch. In case the entrance was bombed. Was bombed, yeah, you could get out through there. But the ladder's now gone. Usually there's a ladder yeah. down to it. And then... You can see what the ladder was. There's a concrete there. Yeah. And then, so there's a... There's a little hole going up through there. So what would that have been there, this little... I don't know, I wonder, I just wondered that. Um, I don't know what that um, is. Maybe, like, um, I don't know, possibly um, a water, water tank as well. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, because there's that hole going down yeah. through there. It's been blocked up now, but... Yeah, maybe some would have given them sort of like a water supply. I mean, would people have inhabited this bunker? Would they be sort of down here for long periods of time or? No, it only have like night, night shifts now and then. This was actually used, like other bunkers, 
Because um, it's usually um, anti invasion, isn't it? Yeah. This was actually used and was on the track good penny. Oh, this actually, like. Yeah, I mean, this worked. They yeah, they actually had German bombers try and bomb this area and they obviously threw off the scent. So, this is the generator room, I believe. So, these concrete plinths would have housed the generator, right? Followed a standard sort of similar design, there'd be there'd be an escape hatch, of course there'd be air vents, and it was usually two rooms with a central passageway like this Checking here. Blast. Yeah, with and yeah, and with a blast wall as well in it at the front. Right, we're outside on top of the uh, decoy bunker here and we found the actual hatch, the metal hatch going over the the escape the escape shaft. It's been moved out of position a little bit. Yeah, it's been moved out of position a bit, but it's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, Alfie's just found a geocache here. Yeah. Um, inside, was it actually inside the wall of the No, it was, um, the decoy it was under bunker? that. Oh, it was, it was just a, under that? Yeah, wow. It was a bloody hidden one, too. Look, look, it was just that. That's cool. What's in it? Let's have a butcher's. Not that I do this, but. Love Hearts. That's an old school bottle, that. An um, old school tin for Love Hearts in it. I've never seen one in before. I found that recently. Yeah, hang on. 17, 17, yeah, it's a recent so that's and that's the little log book. 15, 16, 16, 16, 17. Okay, let's look at the newest one. 18, that's 24th of the 3rd, 2018. Oh, yeah. What's in the box? Let's have a butcher, see what they're... Not much. I'm not much. swapping anything. Now that plastic box, that's the swaps thing, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look in there. We've just ruined this for someone else though now, so if they're looking for this one, we've just ruined it. Oh, I've ruined lots of geocaches yeah, then. Yeah, there's, there's not yeah, a lot it's, it's in it. It's funny how they're, they're usually around these World War II What have I got? I've got a lighter, you're not having that. No, that's it, I've got nothing to swap. Do not keep me, I'm a travel bug. Help me travel from cash to cash. Oh. It's a very niche sport, this. What's that? That is a... Oh, what is that? That's a little mini screwdriver, I think, that's seen better days. Um, I don't know. Someone will tell me in the comments, so they always do. That was a... Cool. Geocache. Excellent. Okay, so that was a quick look at the decoy bunker, starfish bunker, here at Shottisham. Another quick little video. Just hope you enjoyed that one. If you've got any information about these places, these starfish bunkers, the first one I've ever explored, do let us know. Get in the comments. Uh, another big thanks to Alfie from In The Van Exploring. <laughs> There'll be a link um, to his video and channel. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've earned a bloody pint. See you later, everyone. Cheers.